It's the Refined Reseller. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank Homer and Marge for inviting me into their lovely home. It's great being here. So here's what you need to not do. That's right, not do when listing an auction on eBay. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I belong to a number of eBay seller groups on Facebook, and here's a post I recently came across. I need advice. I bought a vintage Sony Walkman. I know it sells for more than $100. I put it on auction. I wanted to drive interest, so I started the bid at $25. Was that stupid? The high bid right now is $27. It does have a lot of watchers, and there are five days left. I have zero experience with auctions, so any insight is appreciated. I'm tempted to cancel the auction because I don't want the Walkman to sell for less than $100. There are so many things wrong with this, I really don't know where to start, but I'll try. The first thing that's wrong is this seller admitted she knows absolutely nothing about doing an auction, but she did one anyway. What she should have done was some studying, maybe watching some YouTube videos on how to sell on eBay or how to create an auction on eBay, kind of like some of the videos that I create, or she should have read up about it. She should have done her homework, but she didn't. She just threw the auction up there. The next mistake she made is she started the bidding at $25. When doing an auction, an eBay seller must be willing to accept whatever the starting price is. In this case, it was $25. That's because there may only be one bid. There is no guarantee the item is going to be bidded up. So if this seller didn't want to sell the item for less than $100, she should have started the bidding at $100. Next, the seller has no clue that when bidding on an item, a lot of eBay buyers use a sniping tool. They put in the highest amount they are willing to pay for an item. Then at the last moment, the sniping tool places the bid for them. I don't do a lot of auctions, but when I do, this is what generally happens. Let's say I have an item that I started the bidding at $50 and it's bid up to $100 and they have two minutes left in the auction. Then the auction ends, and I find out that the winning bid was $300, so a lot of snipe bids came in at the very last minute, and the item got bidded up. I'm assuming this seller has a seven-day auction. She states that there are five days left, and the high bid so far is $27. Five days is really a lot of time left in an auction, and the chances are it's going to be bid up from that $27 dollars that is the high bid right now but she's worried that the auction might end at twenty seven dollars and she's considering canceling the auction so here you have someone who bid on the item in good faith and could possibly win the item for twenty seven dollars but not if the seller cancels the auction well ebay will know the seller canceled the auction after receiving a bid and ebay frowns upon that here's what ebay says about canceling an auction if it has a bid to try to prevent potential buyers from being disappointed we discourage the canceling of bids unless absolutely necessary however you can cancel a bid when a buyer requests you cancel their bid and you agree you have to end the listing early because the item is no longer available for sale. You made an error in the listing. You're concerned that the bid may be from a fraudulent buyer. It says nothing about canceling an auction because the seller is afraid they will not get what they expect to get. Also, eBay states this. If a seller ends an auction early and buyers have already placed bids, the seller may be charged a fee. This fee is the same as a final value fee based on the item price when the seller ended the auction. And know this, when there are 12 hours or less remaining and the item has a winning bid, sellers cannot make any changes to the listing, including ending the item early, 
adding to or changing the item description. So there you go, a number of reasons not to cancel an auction once it has a bid. Now if the seller would have done some research, they would have realized this is what they should have done. They should not have done an auction. They should have done buy it now at a price they were comfortable with. The seller did not want to get less than $100 for the item, so my suggestion is do a buy it now with best offer and make the buy it now price $125 and just see what happens. An alternative would have been to do an auction with a reserve. The seller could have put a reserve of $100 and if it was not bid up to $100, the seller would not have had to sell it. The bottom line is the only time a seller should do an auction is when they do not know the true value of the item and are afraid to leave money on the table. For this to happen, they need to start the auction at the absolute lowest price they are willing to accept. I currently have 1,600 items on eBay. Every one is buy it now with best offer. I do not have one auction. That's because I've done my research and I know exactly how much each item is worth. So in conclusion, do your homework. Know what your item is worth and do buy it now, our best offer. Almost never cancel an auction once there is a bid. In the eBay world, that is a big no-no. This is The Refined Reseller. I really do hope you learned something from watching this video. If you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. As always, I encourage you to do like me. Buy low, sell high, good sourcing, good selling, and I'll see you next time.